Now, as we all know, in 1959, that was the first year of this Lincoln Memorial Reverse. So before that, 1958 and prior, we had the Wheatback Reverse, as you can see here. So there's an interesting coin that has been going around. It's a one-of-a-kind penny. It's a 1959 Denver Minute penny, as we see here, muled with the reverse of a wheat back. So it has a wheat back reverse. Like I just said, the 1959 is supposed to have the Lincoln Memorial reverse. However, this penny has the wheat back reverse. So that is very interesting. Now something about this coin is uh, very, very cool. On PCGS.com we have this whole story that you can actually go and read. Just to overview it, basically someone found this coin. They say that they purchased it for $1,500 back in 1986. And it was sent to a coin grading company. It was sent to PCGS along with some other coin grading companies in hopes that it would come back as an authentic error coin. However, no coin grading company will uh, deem this coin as authentic. Uh, they will also not uh, say that it is fake, but it has uh, been speculated that the coin was produced using a spark erosion process, and that is the method to make uh, non-genuine coins, fake coins. So, this coin did end up going for auction in 2003, and it did sell for over 48 thousand dollars so of course this is like a very controversial coin from 1959 it's a mule coin or is it a fake coin uh, no one is guaranteed that it's authentic or if it's fake I'm pretty sure it was sent back it was sent to the mint and the mint uh, couldn't declare if it was fake or not very very interesting coin so I guess the story is always, always check the front and back of your coins. Make sure they have the right obverse, the front of the coin, and the reverse, the back of the coin. Because if you got a mule coin, uh, then you're talking some big money. With the 1959, what you want to look for first is a double die obverse. So look for doubling on the front of the coin. The lettering as well is on the date itself, 1959. So do that with a USB coin microscope. I have those available on couchcollectibles.com. Link's always in the description. Now here's a 1959 that has that double die obverse. We see here on the coin slab, it says DDO, that is double die obverse. Now it does have a high grade of a mint state 63 red. All right, so this penny here sold for a little over $80. So not a lot of money, but still an $80 penny. Now if we move on here to another 1959 Lincoln cent now here is a very awesome coin. I would love, love to find a real genuine double struck error coin just like this one. Now of course it's double struck and the design is rotated. So we can see here the design of Lincoln twice and we see how the design has been rotated. We see the 1959 date here overlapping the word Liberty and of course we see the outline of Lincoln's head there and then we also see the Liberty going through his forehead which is very cool. Now here on the reverse we see that again the design of the reverse double struck and rotated the Lincoln Memorial Building going through the building. So very uh, cool error. Now this is uh, very simple to look for. It's very uh, noticeable. So it's not gonna be easy to find, but very simple to spot in your pocket change or in a coin roll from the bank. So you wouldn't have to use a USB coin microscope or anything for that for this type of error. Now this coin here sold for over $575. Almost a $600 penny. Now also with your USB coin microscopes, you also wanna look for a repunched mint mark on the 1959D Denver minted Lincoln penny. So we can see how this mint mark has been repunched here. There's a couple different examples. There's gonna be a D underneath the other D. And here's a couple examples of that. So here is a D over a D over a D. So it's been repunched twice. So this coin has actually got a high grade as well. It's graded at a mint state 65 red. So that will give the coin a lot of value also. And that's why this penny sold for over $140. Now here's the same type of penny, graded at a mint state 65 red, and it's got that RPM, that repunched mint mark, 
and this coin sold for over $180. Now here's an error that can take place on just about any type of coinage. Now this is a 1959 penny that has been struck way off center, 85% off center. So uh, that would definitely not fit in a penny coin roll, maybe uh, in a quarter coin roll or something. But uh, that is very awesome. I love these types of errors. I don't know, I think I like off-centers that are not as off-centers as this, that way you can see more of the design. But good thing they uh, could see the date here on this penny. Now this coin sold for over $80 as well. Moving on to another 1959 penny. Now I've showed this in another video. It has been struck on a defective planchet. So it really does look like a damaged penny, like someone's just, you know, had their way with this penny here. But uh, it actually is a mint error, and this coin sold for over $135. So very unique type of looking uh, coin here. Uh, always be on the lookout for things like that. So the first thing you want to look for on all your 1935 wheat pennies is a double die obverse. Okay, so if we go over here and zoom into the Wii, you can really see the doubling taking place on the E there. So that is a double die obverse. And if we go to the word trust, it's very, very visible doubling on the T, R, U, S, T. Very visible. Now you cannot see this in most cases, uh, doubling like this without a coin microscope. I have those available on couchcollectibles.com. So if you want to get a coin loop or a coin microscope, link is in the description of the video. Now here is the date, 1935 doubled. Very, very visible doubling on that as well. So always be on the lookout for those. And then here's another example of the date being doubled, 1935. So that is uh, super easy to look for with a coin microscope. You just put your pennies underneath the coin microscope and bam, if you got one, you got one. If you don't, you don't. You move on to the next penny. Now here's a couple examples of a double die obverse. So this first one here is rated at a mint state 64 by PCGS. You can see that it says DDO, which means double die obverse. So there is doubling taking place on the front of this coin. And this coin here, because of that doubling and because of the high grade of a mint state 64, this wheat penny sold for over $375. $375. Now if we look at this coin, this coin is graded at a mint state 63, and this coin sold for around $240. Now if we check out the 1935 double die obverse that is graded at an extra fine 40, so a much, much lower grade in comparison to the mint state grade, you can see that the coin has probably most likely been circulated at some time, uh, I would say, and this coin, because of the double die obverse, sold for around $50. So the lower the grade, you know, the lower the price is gonna be on those double die coins. So if you find them in good condition, they're definitely gonna be worth a lot more money. This is a 1964 penny, looks pretty normal from a distance. However, it was struck on a 1951 wheat penny. So that is really interesting, huh? It's graded at about uncirculated 58. And you can see here that the coin has the word Liberty and the 1951 date there to the right and left of Lincoln's head. So that is really cool to have that design there. And here on the reverse, you can't really make out much of the other penny design. So very awesome type of error. This penny sold for over $1,800. So let's move on to, again, another expensive coin. This is a 1964 Lincoln penny that was struck over a 1963 Denver minted Lincoln penny. So you can really see it here in this image. You can see the reverse design of the penny here on the front of the coin, the obverse of the penny. So that is really incredible. This is the type of error that I would love to find when I'm coin roll hunting pennies. Now here on the reverse, again, you can see the design of Lincoln's head. So that is really cool as well. And this coin here sold for a whopping $4,000. It actually sold for over $4,000. So that is a really awesome type of error to always look for. Now here's something to look for on your 1964 pennies. If we zoom into that D mint mark, you can see how it looks like it's doubled. That is a repunched mint mark. So it's a RPM. RPM repunched mint mark. You can look for that with your coin microscopes, again, which I have available on couchcollectibles.com. 
Now here's a coin that has that repunch mint mark. It only sold for around 10 bucks, but I would definitely still always be on the lookout for those RPMs on your coins because some of them could really add some value to your coins depending on which coin it actually is on. Now here's the 1964 that was struck through some type of staple or uh, some type of wire which we can see here on the right side of the coin and this coin sold for around $70 on eBay. If we look at a 1964 penny that was double struck, this coin here sold on eBay for over $90, so nearly a $100 penny. Also, on your 1964 pennies, don't forget to look for a double die reverse. So doubling taking place on the lettering of the coin here on E Pluribus Unum, that phrase, always be on the lookout for that. You can really see that double die taking place. That can always add value to your coins. Now here's another coin that sold on eBay. You can see that it has been struck through a capped die. The coin only sold for around $20. I would personally keep it and keep it in my coin collection for 20 bucks. Here's the 1964 again. This is a die cap error taking place. This is a deep die cap as it says here on the coin slab by PCGS graded at a mint state 66 red. And this coin is really, really awesome, man. This coin sold for over $1,100 as well. $1,100. Man, that is just an awesome type of uh, uh, die cap there. That is uh, pretty awesome. I would love to find something like that in the coin roll. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I will see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.